Good afternoon, everybody. I am in the new and improved vegetable garden, or should I say, in process. <laughs> um, I just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of what we're doing. Um, I know I've mentioned, gosh, probably the last, I don't know, 10 videos that I've done that I've been wanting to get this done. Uh, finally, we were able to get it done. My husband finally helped me make these. Um, well, I shouldn't say helped. He actually made them, but he knows that I've been wanting them for a long time. So he said, happy Valentine's Day because <laughs> we are coming up on Valentine's Day here. And you know me, I love homemade gifts. So I would way rather have this than the flowers and candy. <laughs> um, so we replaced the ones that we had. Um, originally I had five here and um these i think i don't remember the measurements i think they were two by 12s which were really long and narrow which worked but i definitely wanted them to be a little bit wider um so we went with three by tens and a little shorter than last time because we had them up to the edge which was fine but because we have this driveway here and we had our motorhome rv parked here um just if i have wanted to walk around this way I couldn't because I was tripping over boxes so I always had to go that way which isn't a big deal because it's not that great of a space um but you know when you're trying to hose a certain way I mean it's kind of just it's easier to be able to walk all the way around so you know <laughs> little things like that um he hooked up there was water ran originally to each box so he's kind of fixing that and hooked those up they just look really good. Um, I think we want the pine. Um, I know they always say go with like a cedar or treated wood. Um, way out of the budget for that. <laughs> Could not afford that, but we went with pine. Uh, I'm going to put, I haven't decided if I'm going to seal them with a water sealant um, or if I'm going to do like a stain because um, I like the raw wood. Um, I'm not a big fan of painted garden boxes um my husband was thinking I should paint it the same color as this pergola I don't know I, I really do like the raw wood look but I definitely am going to seal them if I don't seal them I'm going to stain them so um probably like a cedar color or something like that however um you know I wouldn't be opposed to just leaving them raw but yeah I'm so excited we left the big opening here I think originally I said I was going to do like a small box here I think we figured it would look kind of weird with this lamppost that we added um so I think we're just going to fill it in our plan is to put down some tarps and stuff I'm sorry not tarps weed barrier and then we're going to put rock in here probably the same rock that we have in the front yard um I'll show you once I go over there um it's just like a I, did, I didn't want to do gravel because gravel is really messy where we live because we get a lot of high winds and a lot of dust and um, dust and dirt and weeds fly right over <laughs> that gravel and it's kind of hard to keep up here in my area so anyway so we do have like I said three by tens here and then originally in the back here we had one small one I don't remember the size of it but it was going uh, this way along the fence as opposed to straight back um, he added this one and I want to say these are three by eights these three in the back so I have definitely got more gardening beds than originally I thought I was going to get but that was the hope I did hope to get them um, as you can see this one's kind of covered by shade a little bit which gives me um, some more options maybe I can put like my cooler stuff like my cabbages and lettuces and stuff because although they do like sun and they will get morning sun here um it's like afternoon we're a little bit afternoon right now um uh, so this will be nice because you can keep those um just a little bit happier during the summer months when we get into triple digits so I don't know why I'm walking around with this I found it on the floor <laughs> In case you're wondering um and you know the ones in the back are full sun um these ones are all full sun except for this one as you can see right now it gets a little bit of shade from the um, shed back here so the um cold frame is still here um it's gonna stay here it works great um it's one of those harbor freight kit ones that we've had um i think we've had it going on maybe four years now 
I could be wrong, um, but you know, hey, it still works. It's still doing good. We do have a nice framing on it. Still working. I have some seeds going in here. <laughs> um, you know, just some tomatoes and peppers and some uh, broccolis, brassicas, and all that sort of thing. Just kind of getting a head jump start for spring, even though it's a really nice day today. It's going to get cooler here during the run of the week. So we get false springs <laughs> all up until March. So this kind of just helps protect them at night because we do get pretty cold here at night. So, you know, still going strong with that. Uh, my husband wants me to see if I can get replacements for these panels just because, you know, they've gotten pretty beat up from the sun or harsh sun and wind. <laughs> they kind of have like a yellowish tinge, um, you know. Are they pretty? No, they don't bother me. Um, I'm working with what I got here. So, you know, um, might be something that we replace later on, but not a high priority. I just want to get, I wanted to get the beds done, which he was able to finish. And I'm so happy <laughs> that I can start planting um, because I was like, last year I was so disappointed. I had all my seeds ready to go and none of my beds were ready I really didn't have anything to put it in I could have put it directly in the ground but you know I wasn't uh diligent in prepping my soil for uh spring so I was hoping that it would get uh get us motivated to build the beds last year but it just didn't <laughs> so um so yeah so this is what we got really happy with that again I have the five um three by tens and then the three three by eights in the back and I think this is just going to be plenty of space to grow here uh for our family um I, I mean I've never had the issue where I had too much room so <laughs> I've always kind of ran out of room towards the end of uh gardening season but um hey maybe I'll actually have some beds that I'm like wow I need to fill in that space and I think that'll be kind of cool so just a quick video on an update of the vegetable garden in case you guys were wondering. I know it's that time of year where everybody starts prepping for spring and, you know, getting ideas for their own garden spaces. Um, I don't know um, if you consider this space big or not, um, even though I do live on an acre and a quarter. Um, you know, we chose this area because it was kind of just not being used at the time. And um, even before we had this driveway put in, um, we were just like, hey, let's put it here. You know, it's close enough to the house, but out of the way to where we can, uh, it won't take up our, our whole backyard. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next one and get ready to start planting. So bye.